Hello everyone, and welcome to another A Thousand Ways tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to create a custom shape here in InDesign using the Ellipse tool. In previous videos, I've shown you guys how to create custom shapes using the Pen tool, as well as convert an image into a built-in shape here in InDesign using the Pathfinder. Feel free to check those videos out. The links are in the description below. Now I have a document already set up and I'm just going to click the name to grab it. Now if you wish to know the document settings I'm using, simply refer to the description below. If you do not have a file set up yet, simply go to File, New, and select Document, or press the keyboard shortcut of Command N or Control N. Once you have that done, just set up your document to your liking. Now I'm going to grab my ellipse tool here by clicking the icon within my toolbar, or if you see a different shape, simply hold down your mouse button and select ellipse when your drop down menu appears. Or you can just simply use the L button on your keyboard. Once that's done, I want to start creating my shape. Since my image is of butterflies, I want to create a shape that looks somewhat like a butterfly. So I'll start off with the butterfly body, which will be a pretty long, thin oval like this. Now for now, I'm going to keep this stroke active. So I'm going to create another circle or oval. And I'm going to rotate it. So I'll simply press the letter V on my keyboard to activate my selection tool. And when my icon turns into this two arrow curve here, I'll just simply click and rotate my circle however I want. Now this is pretty difficult because there's no fill, so make sure you click on the stroke in order to move it. Now I don't want to continue creating different circles, so I'm simply going to hold down my option and for PC users my Alt key and click and hold down Shift so it doesn't move to duplicate it. Now I want to rotate this downwards and make this a little thicker and a little longer. Once that's done, we just adjust it to our liking, bring it closer to our top circle, and as you can see, there's a little space in between these three circles. I don't want that, so I'm going to select both of these and move them in a bit. Now there's no space. Now I'm going to duplicate these two circles because I don't want to make more. So I'll hold down my Option or Alt key, click, hold down Shift, and move them over. Go to Object, Transform, and select Flip Horizontal. And now it's facing the right direction. And I'm just simply going to move these over while holding down Shift. Now that looks good to me, and now I want to grab each shape here, turn off the stroke, because we no longer need it, and bring up my Pathfinder options by clicking over here. Now, if Pathfinder is not available within your workspace, simply go up to Window, Object Layout, and click Pathfinder. Now under your Pathfinder options, you will select the first icon, which is Add, to make this into one whole shape. As you can see, we no longer see the single ellipses, it's just one whole shape. So I want to place my image within this. To do so, I'll simply go up to File, Place, or use the keyboard shortcut of Command or Control D. Select my image and click open. Now this image is pretty big, so I'm going to grab my direct selection tool here 
or press A on your keyboard. Click my image, scroll up a bit, resize it while holding shift so it doesn't distort. Do that once again because it's still a little too big. Bring it up. And there you have nice butterfly image within your custom shape. Now, if you do not want your image to be rotated and you want it straight, just simply activate your rotation tool here or just press the letter R on your keyboard and you simply rotate it to where you want. Now, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I wish to see you in the next A Thousand Ways video.